takes, there is something called reading the mood. And recently, while I was, by the time I'd taken that break, a Financial Times um, um, uh, read, uh, wrote an article and said that President Ruto failed or rather misread the mood. I want to explain for you something that happened yesterday. The reason why Ruto read 11 member cabinet, <laughs> the truth is coming out on what exactly transpired just some hours, two hours before the state house meeting. And I will explain the intrigues behind this, how Ray Lodinga read the mood. Now I want you to listen to some collection of videos here because this is the mood that Raila read. And after listening to this, I will try to debunk the narrative. Quite a number of us have been asking Kevin, Raila Odinga had a handshake with Uhuru Kenyatta and you guys accepted it. Why is it that the handshake with William Ruto you're not supporting? And one of us confronted me, me, Kevin, you are a very strong crusader of the handshake. And I agree, I'm a very strong crusader of the handshake. But what's the difference why the Raila Ruto handshake you guys are opposing? I have an answer to that. But listen to this mood. Representing. Now we are told there is going to be a government of national unity. Unity for who and in whose interest? After all, Raela Molodinga and William Samoy Ruto are part of the problem in this country in a sense that they are negotiating to eat on top of the dead bodies of our comrades that have been martyred by the state. So we hope that they will announce that government of national unity as they think that will help us to mobilize on the streets on Ruto Ni kama hatusikizi bwana tunasema aje kwa nini hujashika huyu mtu mwenye amekuwa akituua kwa nini hujashika huyu sniper mwenye tumemuona kila mahali akitushika akituua and then you are here pretending at oh sijui umefuta cabinet alafu unaanza tena ku recycle watu we are not stupid na sisi sio waoga sasa tuesday tuesday comrades Tuesday. Tuesday. Tuesday, comrades. Tuesday. 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 And we are telling President Ruto and his rotten system that we want all the demands that we are asking him to do because by calling the, po the opposition to come and uh, share uh, power, that is not what people have been demanding for. We are demanding good governance. We are demanding and good quality education and free we are demanding good health care we are demanding uh, equal uh, distribution of the country the solution is justice and when we get justice we will have lasting peace comrades power comrades power kwanza ningependa kushutumu kwa vikali serikali ya William Samoe Ruto kwa sababu ya mauaji ya kiolela ya vijana wetu zaidi ya hamsini ambao waliuliwa wakiwa kwenye maandamano across the country na kazi moja ya serikali ni ku make sure wananchi wako salama kwa hivyo hiyo pekee inatosha just got home exhausted Ruto you ragged whatever they call you what is wrong with this man, I don't understand. I don't understand because there is literally no logical explanation for what Ruto has done today with that cabinet secretary's list. There is no logical explanation for that. So he's insane. You're dealing with a madman. Because it's either he's insane or we are insane. We are not insane. All of us cannot be insane. Or can we? I just don't get it. I'm looking at it, Figure Kimbiki is still in that list. So Ipantuya is still in that list. Aden Duale is still in that list. And now they're bringing us new people. The Ministry of Health has been given to Gloria Mlongo. Her history apparently is, an, is a bigger mess. It's like he doesn't know, he doesn't, he doesn't know any good people. 
he does not know people who do right he does he, he cannot come up with any names of people who've not been involved in corruption who've not been suspended from ministries who've been stopped who've not been stopped from practicing a career due to crimes in fact it's crimes do you know what it takes for you to lose your medical license the ministry of health gloria mlongo there's a problem somewhere a big problem i thought this would come to an end that's what i was i thought so i thought he would even oh my god are we going to stop at this point there's no reason why this entire country should burn somebody just needs to find a way to just you know like it's just ruto you know there are other problems but we can deal with them later ruto just ruto must go he has to go i was hoping he could just do some things right so that we we keep on living and then in 2027 we can kick him out very early in the morning but at this rate at this point he's trying to kill more people on the streets he's trying to abduct more people and humiliate them in a million different ways he's trying to dump more bodies in quarries that's what he's trying to do because he, he, he demands that we must stay in the streets he has decided we belong to the streets every other day we've avoided the streets of nairobi hmm? by 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 watching relationships one way or the other and then boom ruto said we have to go to the streets every other time i don't know my first reaction was to laugh my second reaction is now i'm felt a little angry and now i'm just a little sad it's just sad it's sad how did we get here or how did we get here i'm genuinely getting scared at this point but ruto must go Hey, may the universe and the heavens and the source and the divine help us. Leo Ruto hatujamwona hata siku moja yuko katika ofisi amekaa kwenye kiti anafanya kazi. Harambe House hajatia gu lake 2 years now. Ana randa randa tu. Na still Ruto must be told elections are over. Sasa ka pale ukamilishe zile promise ambazo umetoa. Kama hayuko hapa yuko nchezaji. nje. Hayuko hapa yuko yuko nchezaji. nje. And for the first time tumeona Rais Ruto yuko chini yuko hapa Kenya nipo anza wa Gen Z. Wapotia guu ndio Ruto nao yuko hapa nchini. Otherwise ngekwa sha atangatanga huko sijui New York, Japan, sijui Italy, sijui wapi. Sasa Rais gani huyu? I don't I don't think he understand to be a president. He doesn't. He doesn't get it. Hakuna mambo ya kuzungumza. Lazima aikamilishe katiba na sheria. Na kwanza wale vijana wote walouliwa. Lazima wakamatwe. Lazima wakamatwe tu ndani. Kisha mahakama ifanye shughuli yake. Mazungumzo mzungumza kitu gani? Teach me how to pray for my present today. I don't know. Allow me to be honest with you. I don't know what how I direct my prayers. God give him longer life. There comes a time you pray God. Take your child and pray with him up there. <laughs> University fee yenye tulikuwa tunalipa 28,000 per year, saini 300,000. Same learning institutions, same learning environments, same courses, same everything. Hakuna kitu imebadilika, hakuna kitu imekuwa better. Kila kitu ni the same. But in, in a period of three years, mumeongeza na more than 10 times that amount. Kwani what was the point of going to school to study hard so that you can enjoy free and subsidized education from the government? What motivation do even the pupils and the students in school have to work hard? You are not attacking the education system because you know just how easy it is to manipulate and learned people. Mumeona vile masomo ya kibaki free education ime come through kwa hii revolution. Na sasa mnataka kuturudisha hizo enzi za ku, kutosoma na kuteseka. To make matters worse, hamtoi hata ID ndio hawa students waweze ku apply help walipe hiyo school fees. So most are forced to defer ama wengine hata wanamalizia masomo a form 4 kwa sababu hawana resources za kuenda to the next level tunaonea 
something needs to be done about this guys you cannot keep quiet about this they are attacking all the important pillars the basic amenities of our society walimalizana na healthcare wakaiaribu yote ndio hiyo agriculture hadi wanauzia farmers fake fertilizers ndio chakula isi met kufa na njaa ndio hiyo infrastructure mumeona vile barabara zenu zinaka ndio hiyo sasa masomo wameingilia maji Kenya kuna watu bado hawana maji safi watu sio wajinga Kenyans are tired na muache kutubeba ujinga This is the mood that Railo Dinga had. So yesterday, Railo Dinga was supposed to meet President William Ruto just hours before, an hour even before the address. And that's why that address was slated to be at 4 p.m. And this was part of the deliberation the trailer was going in there to submit, rather was going to be hosted in state house, to submit some names to be considered for cabinet. Then it would be from that, from, from those names, so that when William Ruto was going to name his cabinet, the 11 badge, he would, there would be some from Royal Odinga that would have been included. But the president waited for hours. Remember just the Thursday previous night before Friday, James Sorengo and some of Raila Odinga's family members had confronted him and told him that he should not, he should dare not go close to William Ruto. So the president and the state house team were expecting a guest. They were expecting a guest as early as 3 p.m until Ray Ludinga's phone went off and was not picked. A report that later emerged is that Raila left the country and rushed out of the country and did not meet the president. So he snubbed the state house meeting, which was also and part of what would be addressed if you just pick what Raila said earlier that you see that press briefing that President Ruto did where he was flanked by both Regadi and Mudavadi, Raila would have been part of that press briefing to name that cabinet. But I think the stones were falling apart and an agreement could not even be reached. And Raila had no option but to chicken out of that state house meeting. I want to tell you this. I know people have been making comparisons. Raila, any inch, an inch of Raila Ruto deal is dead on arrival. Even if they try an inch, that deal is dead on arrival. And let me, maybe, let me take a minute first and make that comparison. When Raila Odinga was having a handshake with Uhuru Kenyatta, that handshake in March 29th, 20, uh, March 9th, 2018, was a culmination of a process. And Raila you know, had sworn himself, and there was a an back and forth election suckers. And there is something that Raila really kept on saying about it, and both him and Uhuru Kenyatta. That handshake was based on some ideology. You know, that is what people don't want to agree. And you can listen, you can get this. The Ruto, the Raila Uhuru handshake was based on an ideology. And when Raila came out to represent, he said that we want to take this country where our forefathers left it. That those things that our forefathers wanted to, us to achieve. And I think Uhuru Kenyatta was keen that as the time he was leaving power, he wanted to ensure that the bridges, you remember there, there have been long-standing rivalry. A 40-year-old, you know, a 40-year long-standing rivalry between Kenyatta family and Odinga family. And even the kind of activities that happened that handshake, after that handshake, were very significant of the elders from the two communities meeting and sharing 
And that peacemaking process of former President Uhuru Kenyatta making that historic visit to a Poda farm. And it was, it was a very historic, but it was a very ideological peace handshake. I want to ask you, tell me, Gen Z's went to the street and Kenyans went to the street, that's my point. But after they came back, they pointed out some issues that were bedeviling the nation. Then the next day you hear is a cabinet slot. Where is the ideology? Maybe I don't understand and I choose not to, maybe. Where is the ideology? And there is a question I want to ask you. If you have an answer, tell me. Do you think Uhuru Kenyatta could not give Raila Odinga cabinet slots? Answer me. Do you think Uhuru Kenyatta, after that handshake with Raila, is there something that would have stopped him from giving ODM party cabinet slots? On uh, uh, parastatos and this and that. But the things that happened and the development that were done by that time, even without that much hyped cabinet slot. And that is why I ask, what is the ideology between Ruto and Raila? So Raila walked out after reading the mood in the house. I want to explain why Ruto Raila deal is dead on arrival. Dead on arrival. I, I, I repeat that. I'm not seeing it going anywhere. And it's good that Raila read the mood of the house. Sometimes you need to read the mood. It was not easy to, for many, as many of us to board. There is something you need to see. If you look through Ruto's eyes, President Ruto is pushing his re-election agenda amid the public revolt. Can I tell you, out of the 11, six are from Mount Kenya. And the, probably the 11 that are still remaining, Mount Kenya may still get one slot or so. Out of the 11, is it six are recycled? Only five new faces have been injected. What has caused that? It is the UDA power sharing deal. So I think it would have been a big shame for Ailudinga to appear in State House when Ruto is naming that cabinet. Then from nowhere, you see the list of those who had been rejected by Kenyans being named in the presence of Ailudinga. It would have been a big shame. President Ruto is pushing a re-election agenda. That deal is dead on arrival because the next thing Rai will, will find himself doing is praising William Ruto ahead of 2027 election. And they have now to dump the other opposition front and start now praising William Ruto. Blindly praising, of course, praising William Ruto against the people wish it would have been disastrous. And that would have crushed Raila Odinga. I'm seeing some people mad that Raila has walked, walked out and declined. That report is all over. The Raila walked out of that state house meeting and rushed out of the country. He was not, he did not attend that meeting. Even though the state house team were waiting for him for hours until even his phone went off. So Ruto is pushing one agenda. Even this, why would a cabinet slot? Because Raila is not going to get take that cabinet. Raila is going to be a CS. No. That CS slot is supposed to go to political operations. The Oparanya so that he captures Western. When you have Oparanya and you have Mdavadi, then you go and get Joho so that you capture coast. That is what would happen. There's no any magic that we'll expect from it. Then they would even go and pick Ojamong from Bungoma, from, from Busia. I was told about that. So that you take the Busia part, which are strong ODM parties, ODM zones. That is the main reason why that deal is dead on arrival. The second thing I'm seeing, Kenya Kwanza lacks a development template that even that Raila can leverage on. Yes. You see, 
during uhuru era to uhuru 2 when they were with Raila, you'll see this project being launched that project being launched and something tangible but on kenya kwanza they are launching you know some few bitumen roads and affordable housing units one of the most unpopular project that has been that was rolled by kenya kwanza and they know it so what was Raila going to praise? Let's say Raila was going to praise the housing levy. Or Raila was going to praise that hustler fund that has now been eaten. The termites have come out of the woodwork and they feasted on that hustler fund. There was no way about it. The other that thing is crushing of NGOs in fight for and luck for social justice was going to be a big mess for Raila Odinga. Ruta is in a deliberate plan to crush some NGOs and also lack of social justice for those who have been oppressed by the regime. And that would have set Ryan Udinga in a coalition path with the rest of Kenyans. And lastly, Raila's persuasion power, and let me whisper this because many people don't want to hear it, but it is the truth. The Ryan Udinga's persuasion power is winning. And with the deal with Ruto, it will go down. It will deepen further. It will drop further. This persuasion power is going down. So with the Ruto deal, I'm telling you, you take that Raila Ruto and get someone ticket there, and what? That thing is not going anywhere. No one wants to hear about those type of things. People want good governance. People want the answers. The, the mood I've told you there is about people are talking about real issues. Like that lady is talking about education funding model. The next day, some other person is talking about the strike by teachers. The next day, some other person is talking about corruption in that ministry. The next day, someone is talking about this and that. That is the discussion on table. So this pedestrian thong I don't about, talk about, I don't lie on and burn to. I don't know where even people are getting it from. You know, it's, 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 it's backward to say the least. We cannot slide back to tribal arrangements at the time the country is asking tough questions about governance. I'm not boarding that tribal card. Thank you.